CNBC TV 18, embarking on a quarter century of excellence. Welcome back. You're still tuned in to Power Breakfast. Well, it's time to talk all about commodities now. Manisha Gupta is joining us with all the update. Hey, Manisha, good morning. Hi, morning, and thank you for that. Well, I'm looking at the crude oil prices, which are trading steady ahead of the U.S. inflation data. Well, all markets really watching out for the last inflation numbers in this year. And, of course, the last U.S. Fed meeting as well kickstarts today, where we will hear the announcements tomorrow. It doesn't really end with that, because come uh, Thursday, and you will have the Bank of England and European Central Bank monetary policy as well. So there's just too, too much to watch out in terms of data and global central bank meetings there. Well, ahead of that, we also have seen some profit-taking happen in case of the metal trade. Prices. Gold is now steadily trading below $2,000 per ounce. It's a sharp reversal from record highs that we saw in the first week of December itself. It is profit-taking that you are seeing across metals as well. So the iron ore prices have come off their one-and-a-half-year highs. Copper, aluminum, and zinc have seen a decline anywhere between half to 1% in last two trading sessions. The Chinese economic data has been on the weaker side, and that continues to weigh on as well. Okay, all right. Uh, thank you, Manisha. So that's what's happening with base metals.